cheapest mini PC on the planet. Almost. The GMK Tech Nukebox G3 with Intel's N100 promises office work, 4K video and light gaming. But does it actually deliver or is it just a budget compromise? Let's find out. But first, the unboxing. The package arrives straight from AliExpress. Logo right here for a couple of seconds so you know where the deal came from. Open the box. No drama, just the G3 staring back. Ready? Let's go. And that green, yeah, it stands out. At 260 gram, it's crazy light, but still feels solid. Further inside, you get the usual stuff. Paperwork you'll never read, a 1 meter HDMI cable, VESA mount with a bunch of screws for anyone who wants to hide it behind a monitor, a warranty card and a 36 watt power brick. No flashy extras, no stickers pretending to add value. Mine had a UK plug, yours will match your region. And that's it. Simple, clean, just the essentials. Now let's dig into the real star, the PC itself. Port selection here is straightforward and functional. On the front you'll find a power button, two USB 3.2 type A ports, and around the back Dual USB 3.2 Type-A, dual HDMI 2.0 capable of two 4K monitors at 60Hz, 2.5G Intel LAN and a 3.5mm audio jack. Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2 round out wireless options. No USB-C, no triple monitor support, but dual 4K output and 2.5G Ethernet at this price is impressive. Let's pop the lid and see what's inside. So you've got a PCIe 3.0 M2 2280 drive with 256 gigs of storage. Not huge, but there's also an extra M2 2242 slot if you want to add more. And heads up, it's 2242 only, so 2280 won't fit. It's just too long. There's an 8 gig DDR4 SODIMM and yes, older like N chips like the N100 only support single channel memory so you're not missing a second slot. That's just Intel's design. 8 gigs isn't much by today's standards but for daily web browsing, streaming, content playback and even light gaming it's more than enough. Well, test that in a second. There's also a Realtek Wi-Fi 6 card tucked neatly under the NVMe, keeping things clean and efficient. Time to fire it up and see what it can actually do. You need a wired keyboard and mouse to initial startup, but once you're past setup, you can go fully wireless. It comes pre-installed with Windows 11 Pro. Nice touch, but Ubuntu works perfectly if you're more into Linux. Updates take a little patience. Windows, Intel drivers, the usual, etc, etc. But once it's caught up, the system runs surprisingly smoothly. The Intel N100 is a 4-core, four 4-thread four chip sipping just 6 watts of power, built for efficiency, not for breaking any records. Out of the box, it's fine. Geekbench scores sit at 870 single-core and 2255 multi-core, and Sidebench R23 clocks 666 single-core and 2606 multi-core. But here's the kicker, the G3 isn't running at full potential until you step in. First tweak, enable C-state in the BIOS. Just boot up, spam Dell, head to advanced CPU power management, flip C-state to enabled, save and reboot. Instantly Geekbench jumps to 1167 single core and 3047 multi core, roughly 18% faster. Two minutes and suddenly this little box feels awake. You're welcome. Once even more, you could crank the power limit to 15 watts and grab another 9% boost. Just like that, the G3 moves from May to surprisingly snappy for its class. I opened 15 Chrome tabs, smooth as butter. Browsing, email, office apps, no problem. 4K 60 video playback, flawless. Lights, 1080p photo and video edits, totally doable. Now comes the fun part, gaming and emulation. Let's see what this tiny N100 can really handle. The integrated Intel UHD graphics is not winning esports tournaments, no but for way. casual or retro gaming, perfectly fine. So Roblox at 2K medium, 30 to 60 FPS depending on how messy the textures are. 
My son been testing it for a few hours on his Roblox stuff and no lags, all smooth in 2K and default graphics settings. GameCube emulation, Mario Kart, Need for Speed, Simpsons, Hit and Run, all smooth, all playable, temperatures stay sane, and the fans don't scream while you're living 2002. The AAA titles, forget it, this isn't a dream crusher, it's a nostalgia machine. Thermally, the G3 behaves, even with the SSD bare, no heatsink, there's no thermal throttling in stress test. With the power limit bumped, CPU stays reasonable, outer shell 46 to 50 Celsius. On the side vents around 60 Celsius and the rear exhaust 65 Celsius at full tilt. Noise on the heavy load, the fan hits around 40 decibels, basically a whisper, but ramp sorps and down that you'll notice. At idle, you still hear it faintly if it's right next to you. So, who is the G3 actually for? If you're on a tight budget and the $150 is your hard limit, this is your no drama functional PC. Students, it handles Zoom, essays, and streaming without breaking a sweat or the bank. For daily home use, browsing, email, YouTube, Netflix, etc, etc, check, check and check. Light office tasks like Word, Excel and browser based work run smoothly. And if you need a dedicated single task machine, a cheap media box, retro emulation rig or a quiet little server talked in the corner, the G3 has you covered. This PC isn't here to reinvent computing, it's here to get the job done. For around $140 US, you get Windows 11, dual 4K HDMI, 2.4G LAN, upgradable RAM and extra M2 SATA slot. Of course, it skips USB-C, sticks to Time 2 NVMe and the fan can sound like it's gossiping on the load. But for essential, budget-friendly computing, it's more than enough. And before we wrap up, quick heads up, AliExpress Back to School Blowout has just kicked off. We're talking up to 80% off off-season clearance deals from as low as £1 plus millions in coupon subsidies. I even got some exclusive discount codes for you, but they limited stock, limited time, so don't hang about. And it gets better. AliExpress now has a cashback program. Join my team and you can get up to 10% cashback on everything you buy. Just complete quick daily tasks like signing in, browsing and ordering to boost your points. The higher your team points, the more cashback you get. Joining my team is easy. You've got three ways. Click the link in my bio or description and start earning. Search Family Pop in the AliExpress search bar or just scan the QR code on your screen right now. And big thanks to AliExpress for supporting the channel. Your deals help me keep making these reviews for you. That's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit like, drop a comment and subscribe so you don't miss the next one.